I'm going to show you how to use the new AI effect tool in the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. Let's make our intelligence artificial. This new AI effect feature is available in Android and iOS. It creates short portrait videos that are no longer than 16 seconds. These are particularly useful for social media posts and videos like that. Make sure that your device is in portrait mode so that the AI effect option is visible. When you see it, you'll want to tap on AI effect. Once you select it, you can go back to landscape mode if you wish. As you can see, there's a bunch of different options to choose from. We're going to go down here and we're going to select social media two. Tap on it and you'll see a preview plays. Once you're done looking at the preview, you want to tap on try now. A message pops up stating recommend using images, videos with clear view of face. Right now we're on the video tab. So underneath that, you'll see all, which lets you pick from locations on your device where you can pull videos from. And then you'll see options for services like Shutterstock, iStock, Pixabay, Google Drive, and Google Photos. If you tap on photo, it just switches to images. So if you tap on all, it'll send you to the options that you can choose to pick photos and you still have all the other services right there at your disposal. I'm going to stay on the photo tab and underneath the photos, you can see that it says zero of two clips selected and has the option for clip one and clip two. Right now it's on clip one. So if we tap on a photo, it'll go ahead and populate that into clip one and it automatically switches over to clip two. If we tap on another photo, it'll put it into clip two. If you're finding this video useful, click clack that like button. It gives me an indication that I'm building an audience by creating helpful content for my viewers. Now that you've selected your assets, tap on next. Play the quick preview. If I tap on one and I tap edit, I can tap on replace. If I choose to do that, I can scroll to a new video. I can tap photo. I can select a new photo. I'm just going to select the same photo by tapping on it. Now you can tell that the photo is not centered. So if I tap on edit again, the other option here is crop and range. If I tap on that, I can drag this to where I want it. I can also pinch out to make it bigger. When I'm done, tap done. If I tap on image two, I can do the same thing. Tap edit, crop, and I can scoot this over and tap done. If I want to change the volume, I could tap volume and I can make adjustments here. When I'm done, I can tap on the check mark. If I want to replace something again, I could tap replace from here as well. This time, if I tap replace, because I did not select a photo, I have to tap on the X of asset one or asset two to select it and then replace it. I'm not going to replace anything now. I'll just tap on back. Once all of the changes are made, you can tap on export. You can select the resolution that you want. And you can tap on produce. Once it's done, go ahead and tap on done. And it sends you back to the AI effect screen. You can view your video by going to the gallery. If you want to make an insane title animation, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.